this Chuck Carnival and the uh, ten-year chart on Procter and Gamble, historical chart on Procter and Gamble correlated to its earnings, clearly shows um, how damaging overvaluation can be. As you can see, this chart started with Procter and Gamble stock price, which is the black line here, trading at twelve thirty-one nineteen ninety-nine at fifty-four dollars and seventy-eight cents. This green line with the white triangle connotates true worth valuation based on earnings. I'm using a Graham Dodd formula adjusted chart, and the intrinsic value was thirty-four dollars and forty-three cents. So in this case, the company started overvalued, and I want you to notice it ended undervalued at fifty-five fifty-six. Um, it was technically based on the same chart, worth about ninety-four dollars a share. The other point we want to illustrate is that the earnings growth of the company was still excellent at 10.8%. This um, drop off in earnings here represents a forecast. But $100,000 invested in this day when it was overvalued and held it was undervalued really destroyed results. $100,000 investment over 10 years, 9 years, and 7 months to be precise would have only compounded at one tenth of 1%. You add the dividends that you received during that 10 year period, and it does increase it to 2%. And although much better than the stock market, overvaluation really hurt shareholder returns even when operating results were excellent.